This is a guitar tutorial for Summer by Calvin Harris. When I met you in the summer, my heart beat sounds. So, how is everybody doing? My name is Dave Donahue, the guitar coach, and every week I put up new lessons on YouTube. So, if you're into brand new music, into dance music, there's a Calvin Harris one, of course. Just hit subscribe and you'll be kept up to date for all the future ones. I've put up around 15 tutorials this week. So, let's get into it. And before we begin, I have one very quick question. What is your favorite Calvin Harris collaboration? Basically, the reason I'm asking is because he's had so many, my students, have some of their favorites. I have mine, I'd love to hear yours. Just post a quick comment below. Now, now, to begin, you will notice that it is the same chords in a loop. This is your intro, this is your verse. These chords go throughout the chorus as well as the hook goes on. Now, let's take a look. We have a C chord. And if you wanna play it this way too, that's cool. With those fingers. Then it moves to an E minor bar chord. And of course, you can do the open versions of these, but it does sound more like it using bar chords. Right, so that's the first two bars. Now, the third bar, then we have A minor, then a B5. This is really important. This chord isn't B major and it isn't B minor. It's a pure power chord. Bit vague, but that's exactly what's in the song. Then C again. So it ends and begins with the C. Now, you will notice the rhythm is very straightforward. It is a crotchet which lasts for one beat on each chord. Altogether, it goes like this, and I'll just do a bit of singing for context. When I met you in the summer, my heart beat sounds. We fell in love as the leaves turned brown. Get the idea no apologies if i sang wrong lyrics i have a habit of doing that at times <laughs> so that is your verse and of course you can do as the leaves turn brown you can use open chords too if you wish okay right looking at this this is the main hook i'll play it once as an example it goes Now, with this, you will notice that it's mostly quavers. Quavers as in notes that last half a beat. There is a half beat rest at the beginning, and you'll see it pops up two more times in this. Now, to play this, we're going to play, of course, this bar first, then we're going to play the first time bar, and then we go back again, play that first bar, then we go to the second time bar. The notes, the fingers I'm using, I'm in position seven. What I mean by position seven is, any seventh frets, my index finger plays them. Okay, any eighth frets, my middle finger. Any ninth frets, my ring. Any tenth frets, my pinky. So it's an easy way to remember how to keep in position. And you will notice that in the example I gave, I did play it with hammer-ons and pull-offs. I left them out of this on purpose. The reason being, this is a good chance to discover them for yourself. Now, if you really want me to do them, I will post a tab link underneath the description with the hammer-ons and pull-offs added in. The reason I'm doing this is just because when I was younger, like I used to do so much stuff myself, figuring it out, and I think that's where I learned like so much at times. So if you do want that, let me know, but definitely have a go first. So the notes are as follows. We have the eighth fret, then the 10th, and then the seventh on E. The first bar, the count goes one, and two, and three, and four, and. Second bar, one, and two, and three, and four, and. So nothing on the fourth beat. Then we go back around again, first bar, one, and two, and three, and four, and then the second time bar, one and two and three and four and. 
That's how we get all together. That main hook, you'll hear it come up in the song on the main parts. And since I was talking about the chords earlier being used in the chorus, I'm gonna pull them up here and I'm gonna play them with the rhythm you can use for the chorus. It's quite straightforward, exact same chords, but it's gonna go as follows. So on this, it's the same chords to play it for the chorus. The only thing to watch is that you count one and two and three and four and one and two. It's all, it's all on the off beats. And so on. <laughs> now, since it is a dance tune, there are like variations, uh, just slight ones. Of course, the main chords are still going throughout the whole thing. The chords in verse two, that's the verse that follows the first chorus, are a bit more jazzier and a bit more bass heavy. So I'm gonna play those now. What I will do is I'm gonna drop my pick and I'll run through the chords first of all. So we've C major seven, that's a C with the index finger removed. And I have a lyrics link left down below this video as well as chord diagrams on how I play these chords. Then we get D seven sus two in the second bar. That's just a D seven chord with my ring finger removed. Then A minor then C major seven again. You will notice that the rhythm in the first bar just goes one, two, three, four. Now the second bar, it's quite similar. One, two, three, four, and. Now those two notes sound really funky with these chords, but when it's sped up, like slowly, slowly it goes. but sped up from the start. And what I'll do actually here is I'll play it all together one go. And you get the idea. Now I am palm muting those bass notes. And by palm muting, I mean that I've my palm rested on these strings. If you're not familiar with that, doing it without it is perfectly okay. Now we were on that second bar. I'm gonna to move to the third bar now. We're on A minor. Then I just get my middle finger, move it up here. Then we're back to the C major seven. And that is verse two. You'll notice that the chords, they're still based along the same thing. So they will sound pretty similar to what you had before. And those are all the song sections of Calvin Harris's song, Summer. Um, now, basically it's that any verse, you could put in those jazz chords or the ones from the intro. And then what you can do for the chorus is play the other chords with the offbeat rhythm. And finally that hook, whenever you hear that come in, da -da 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 -da, you can do that. And those are all the parts. If you have any other Calvin Harris requests, let me know. He's like one of my favorite dance artists. Um, I have a lesson done for One Kiss, which I'll link above this video. And I will be doing more songs going back through his back catalog as well. So don't forget to subscribe if you're into dance music and guitar. And I'll catch you very soon. Thanks for watching.